Hello everyone and welcome to Lost Judgment. This game is a really good game. I mean, just look at that cat over there. And y'all get me looking straight down. And it's raining too. Ooh, eerie. This game is a really good game. I've heard it's better than Judgment. I would love to play this game. Spin-offs of Judgment. I played the first one, it's so amazing. But now it's time for us to play Lost Judgment. Let's go with uh, normal. And let's use some of that auto save. Just in case, you know. Ooh, Yokohama. We're almost on scene. There's definitely smoke, but no visible signs of fire. Looks more like signal flares. Gonna say this is probably a false alarm or a prank. Copy that. You're clear to proceed. Ah, I told you this was a prank. I don't see any fire. Who in their right mind finds this kind of thing funny? People who enjoy causing a commotion. Huh. Hey, check it out. What in the hell? Is that trash? Oh, shit. What is that? Can't we just report this one in and go? Come on, man. You know we can't just leave this be. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, what's in there, guys? Oh. Oh, that's fucked. Ugh. God. Have you guys seen maggots before? Fuck, I hate maggots. <laughs> they were like eating Japan, my fucking trash. 99.9% .9 of criminal trials end with a guilty verdict. That makes the odds for a defense lawyer to get an acquittal about 10,000 to 1. But I beat those odds on a murder case. The OG so right here. Achievement. The OG? It came with a price. The death of an innocent woman. The shadows of truth escape the courtroom, and when they do, someone has to drag them back into the light. The reality is, the law is neither as perfect or as fair as it's supposed to be. So I've made it my job to give those without a voice a chance to be heard. Noble cause, Yagi. Noble cause, man. That's why we love you so much, though. <laughs> Oh shit, look at that bun. Looks so good, dude. What? Let me get some of that. Hey, who's that cutie in the back? Oh, and Kaito. Hey, uh, talk. What? Man, I'm bored. It sucks. <laughs> How about you hit me with some trivia then? That would pass the time. I mean, come on, man. You never know how long a stakeout's gonna last. Even Keiko chan's losing her mind. I'm sure she is. Give me a sec to come up with a zinger, okay? <laughs> uh, Y'all gonna be so nonchalant, okay, dude. Okay, sure. You think up a tough question, and I just leave you to your thoughts. Wait a damn minute! How does that even solve this problem then, man? Um, Kaito-san? I don't think I'm really in the mood for trivia at the moment. Okay, fine. We gotta spice this up somehow. So, Keiko-chan, this internet boy, how'd you end up on the raw end of a scam like this? How is this spicing things up? 
And besides, <laughs> we don't even know for sure if it was a scam yet, right? Exactly. Kaito-san here is just jumping to conclusions. It'll be fine, Keiko-san. Don't worry. At Yagami Detective Agency, we make sure our clients' hearts are at the heart of our business. <laughs> That's so wow. great to hear. I know I hired just the right Y'all give me the Rizzler, man. Damn straight. Sunshine and rainbows with us. <laughs> Lighten up, Kaito. Hosuke-kun did say he always eats fast food for lunch. Hosuke, huh? Yeah. But after 20 minutes, I think he'd be done by now. I don't know. He always makes me worry. Even his eating habits. Say, <laughs> keiko -chan. How does a sweet girl like you get roped in by some dude off the net? I wouldn't call it that at all. Would you believe me if I said we took it slow at first? I'd say his patience paid off. Maybe it's hard for you to see, but he is a caring guy. So he drags you to the shadiest dive in Kamurocho and calls it a date? <laughs> Sounds like a real catch. <laughs> he was just trying to impress me. He, he couldn't have known what would happen. Then he sticks his own girl with the bill? Oh Dickhead shit! Doesn't begin. <laughs> I mean, he is still in college, and besides, he said if we didn't pay, they'd call the yakuza to collect. So they bled you out of eight hundred grand, four hundred still to go, with a total of one point two oh, mil. Oh shit! <laughs> It'd be practically impossible to pay all that in one lump sum. Exactly. That's where Kosuke Kun's idea came in. He said I could make some easy money working one of those clubs. Wow. Yeah, I'll bet he did. What an asshole, dude. Did he say anything about working with those Yakuza from the start? The Yakuza, yeah, man. Girl, they go out, <laughs> he racks up a tab. Next thing you know, she's on the market to pay it off. Same shit, different day in this town. Kamrucho, man. Kamrucho. Conclusions. Besides, a business taking advantage of people like that would have gotten shut down in no time, right? I mean, it's what they hope for. <sighs> not. Some that's lines what they hope, man. can't cross until it's too late. That's what you guys hope but for. But I do owe you some credit for turning to a man like Genda Sensei. He's been defending this city a long time mm. now, and his team's rock solid. Yeah, and when things rock get too dirty muscle, for them, man. Genda calls in guys like us to clean it up. Good for you, I guess. <laughs> Genda's Listen, a mastermind, dude. John, I hate to be so blunt, but Kosuke's totally been gaming you from the get-go. Until you see that for yourself. There's not much we can do for you. Ain't that right, Tuck? Well, let's not jump the gun, Kaito-san. We don't have proof of anything yet. Speaking of which, there's our man of the hour. <gasps> oh, shit. I'm gonna That's need him? to follow him. You two stay here. Hopefully we'll get this all cleared up. <laughs> About time we saw some action. Careful out there, Tuck. Hey, Tuck, you read me? You gonna be okay tailing this guy? Or do you need the detective basics manual? Basics Kaito manual, please. <laughs> tail him in my sleep. <laughs> the manual nah. to keep your eyes open. Actually. I ain't new to this, Kaito. I'm an experienced detective. Be careful here. Even if I'm not using a gamepad. Alright. Ooh. I have to tail this young boy. <laughs> Looking at me menacingly. Hey, what the fuck, dude? Oh shit! <laughs> you can tell. You can tell the fucking chip on your shoulder. What the fuck? No. No, I'm just. Uh, I'm just looking at my phone, bro. You know, social media, man. Have you heard of it? Okay. All right. I gotta start moving. Oh shit. Okay. So like automatically like locks you into the corner now. Alright my guy. Where are you off to? What do you walk on there, bro? You're weird, bro. Oh shit. Another girl? Kaito-san, you made contact with the new face. I'm gonna get a shot as evidence. Oh shit, Good blackmail, bro. Okay. All right. Satisfy all conditions or your mission will fail. If your photo satisfies the excellent condition, you'll be rewarded with SP. 
Okay. Retry the mission. Okay. Then focus time. Cost of training. Okay. Let's give this a try. It's mechanics, bro. Ready camera with Z. Okay, so it needs to be in focus and have Hosuke and the woman both smiling and taking that max zoom. Okay. Okay, so they're smiling. Max zoom. Oh, just gotta wait one more time. And I gotta focus it. Oh, I focused it all the way. Okay, focus time. Now. Take it. It was babysitting me. I mean, I practically just got that for free. All right. Kajo san, just sent that photo to your phone. Any sage advice? Yeah, I see it. It's a perfect shot, buddy. So, who's Kosuke's <laughs> new friend? Any ideas? That's what I'm gonna Another chick, bro. Out. Be in touch. Man, I haven't seen you in forever, Sakura Chai. How the hell are we hearing this right now? The club events, Kosuke Senpai. I probably wouldn't have like seen you today feet away. if I hadn't mistaken someone else for you. Sorry, I've just been so busy. I know, I gotta make time for the club. I know you've got a busy schedule, but it's not the same without you, Senpai. Oh, well, I shit. Well, quit because you stopped showing up, you know? Oh, damn, that sucks. Uh, guess I better make some effort, huh? Yeah, that'd be great. But, Senpai... While we're on the subject, yeah, I hope you won't do anything that'll get those girls' hopes up either. I don't know if you know this, but the girls had a few big fights actually. All that anger could boil over in your direction at any time is all I'm saying. Yeah, wouldn't want that. I'll be careful. Well, I've got to get going to my next thing. Okay, make sure you stop by the club, huh? Mm hmm. Kosuke, you fucking goon, bro. And you, Sakura chan. Should have roasted this guy. He's a clown, you know? Mm. <laughs> She's like, alright. Go ahead. Fuck this clown out. I just noticed the top left, my fucking deal is I'm uh, looking at rats or something. What is that? Oh, footprints. What the hell is that? Oh, I've seen that before. In Like a Dragon. It's that fucking... Mascot. That like, blesses you. And takes like, all your, um... What is it called? Tojo badge... Token thingies. Oh shit! Oh crap, I don't have it. These directions are terrible. <laughs> Probably nothing. Shit. What are you looking at me, dude? Out of everyone in the crowd, you're looking at me. Man, I swear. These youngins, you know? As an old ass detective, I am very out of place. Okay. Oh my god, wait. What's on the menu today? <laughs> Why are you looking at my ass, bro? My imagination. Oh shit, I'm out of the fucking uh distraction deals. Um Don't look at me. <laughs> oh here we are. Oh shit. <laughs> got saved. By the fucking cutscene. Oh no, who hey, are these? Wait a sec, that's Yagami. He's the detective who reported Anaki's affair to his uh, old lady. These buckos. Yeah, fuck that guy. Anaki got so pissed he took it out on us. Still fucking sore about it. Everything's sore about you, bro. Jeez. Oh my. Yo, Yagami! Just your luck to be passing by us today. You're a dead man, bro. Mm. Man, this neighborhood never changes, does it? And have to whip these guys up like whipped cream.
fucking assholes. Crane style, huh? Okay. Highly evasive. Can perform dodges, aerial abilities. Okay. And you could hold to maintain the fighting stance, of course. Quick step. Perfect evade. Hmm. Okay. Let's give this a try. Oh, wow. Wow, they made crane styles so, like, evasive now. Wow. I'm literally flying. Red Bull gave me wings, dude. <laughs> what? Um... Hey, catch me. There was like a stamina gauge bar or some shit. I've been like, had zero a long time ago. Okay. Let's do some, let's do some attacks. Oh, kicks. Oh my god. These kicks are just perfect. Look at that. Hitting him square in the fucking body and torso, the head, everywhere. Frontal attacks. Okay. Let's try to guard. Who's this? Oh my god, bro. You're literally like emoting on them, dude. Oh! <laughs> Hit my fucking juggler, bro. Okay. There we are. The fuck was the uppercut, though? He was acting like he had a fucking knife. He was like. Yeet. Oh, what the hell? Oh, there we are. Oh shit, I'm on my own now? Okay, that was an insane. Crowd control kick right there. All right. Holy shit! That finisher though. Double kick. Oh my god, Ariel. Oh man. The thing about these judgment games, you literally just spam buttons, and Yagami literally makes the most like cinematic moves, bro. That was fucking insane, Yagami. What the hell, bro? And they say he's a detective. <laughs> this guy can go pro, bro, in fighting, I swear. Oh, shit. Kosuke is gone, bro. Oh, shit. Never mind. Fuck. Stayed here the entire time. Oh. Losing him. Get more cash. I guess I'll stop by the popo. The popo. <laughs> Still could hear him from 20 feet away. Like, oh shit. You know, I'm not doing nothing, man. I'm just, you know, looking at my car over there. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here, dude. What are you, what are you looking at? Stop looking this way. Why are you looking this way, dude? Oh my god. Alright, goodbye. I'm going this way. Wait. Oh, here we go. Alright. Same old comrade show. All right, Kosuke, you can move on, man. Stop being an NPC. Oh my God, Kosuke. Kosuke. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. Guess it's okay. What? Wow, that didn't even fix you, dude. You're still there. Move on, dude, Kosuke. Must be my imagination. Oh my god, there we go. I had to have him detect me from over here. This fucking goofball, dude. <laughs> oh shit. I'm one with the trash. Too close. 
Oh shit. What are you looking hey, back? You. Whoa. What? Hey! What the fuck? Shit. Oh. I blew it. <laughs> I thought he was gonna go inside. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh yeah. Come on, Kosuke. Get going, dude. some pretty boys on these boards here i won't lie oh where'd you go oh he went into the fucking popo finally hmm oh yes find out what he's up to Tell me your car, dude. Give me money, please. Oh, that's not really good focus. Oh, that's good focus right there. Now. Oh, there we are. We got in there 300k yen. Kaito san, I just sent you a new shot. Take a look. Yeah, I see it. Not half bad. hell right that's way too much money to just cruise around with the withdrawal for any amount wouldn't prove anything gotta be fair here i trust kaito's intuition but yagami is too much of a nice guy though he's gotta get to the root of it you know what's up pretty boy Jack, <laughs> give me your status. What's Kosuke up to? Not a whole lot right now. He's just wandering around town. Pretty much killing time like your average college student. Any idea where he's headed? Might be directed at me. Good question. Actually, he just ducked into a building. I'm going after him. Hey, buddy. You new here? You can't just go waltzing in. And why not? Because I said so, that's why. Now beat it. Unreasonable. Hey, didn't I tell you to leave? Don't make me call the cops on your ass. Isn't that a little <laughs> excessive? All I wanted was to look around. You won't. Well, there's nothing to see here, so go look somewhere else. Something illegal going on, man. Something illegal. There's definitely more to this place than meets the eye. What the fuck are those windows? Neon green windows? Active search mode. Okay. Alright, I'm stuck here. Focus in. Look at those boy bands over there. Hey. Never open. I mean, with that type of like decor, you know. What the? And the way that the graphics look, you could tell those blinds have been dusty, musty, dude. Like, what the hell? Okay, so none of these are gonna help me out. Or right, how about this dude? I'm gonna probably be this guy's ass with crane style. Oh shit. Yeah, this look pretty good. Suspicious. I've seen a restaurant that does this type of uh, display, and it actually is appetizing. What the? Even if it's like fake uh, ceramic and stuff like that, all plastic. <clears throat> Whatever it looks perfect, you know, it just looks what tasty. The? What the hell is this? Okay. Solid lock. Oh, there's a lock. Uh huh. What's this? Modern times. Big fat papa. The hell? What's Biggie Smalls in there or something? Um. Suspicious. Go back there. Anything else? 
any Easter eggs or anything like that? Is that the fucking Millennium Tower? What is that? Hmm. I love this dude. Nah, nothing about him. That guy's fucking still is a fucking. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say. He's like a fucking soldier, dude. That's how still he was. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's think. Oh, okay. Need to look for an entry point first before I can think about this. Hey. Maybe over there? No way that's gonna work. Look for a foothold. Uh-huh. Oh, now I can move. Okay. Hmm. Suspicious. Oh, look at that. Alright, it's locked. Hey. Cigarettes. That's literally what Yagami probably hmm. smokes every day. Alright, how about what? this? AC unit? Okay. Hmm. Little locker. Oh yeah, I could probably parkour this right here. Investigation complete. I think so. I got 16,000 yen to my name. <laughs> wow. We're still, we're still poor, dude. <laughs> Even after making the detective agency. For a foothold. Okay. Grip gauge. Yagami will fall. A to move. Hold Q and use WS to move vertically. Okay. Okay. QW. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's go. I'm going to recover my grip gauge, too. Nice. Wow. Okay, just go forward. Oh, seeds. You could be a gardener in this one. What the fuck? Where those pigeons go? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Disappeared into the fucking... Eve Erythral. Like, what the hell? Oh, shit. Yo, Tuck. You hanging in there, buddy? Uh, kind of hit a wall here. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, shit. You didn't lose the guy, did you? Look. My hands are tied right now. Everything's under control. Shut up, Kaito. I'm working here. Not for a lot, but for something, you know? I'm your boss. I pay you. These fucking cats. Oh, I can't even go on them. Oh, I might have been able to take a picture of them, actually. Oh, no. I mean, I didn't hear him, but... I hope I'm not missing any... Easter eggs or something. While taking photos. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys. Didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, fuck. That's awkward. Hey. Who's this clown? <laughs> clown? First time I've ever seen him. Oh, you see, I'm uh, Kosuke's guest. Guess I took a wrong turn somewhere. Who the hell's Kosuke? Ah, uh, that's the kid who keeps hanging around. You'd think he'd have wised up by now. Wait, then he'd be on the fifth floor. So what are you doing down here? Seriously, it's like he got me lost on purpose. You mind uh, pointing me in the right direction? Take the stairs to the fifth floor, then head all the way back. Your friend will be in the tatami room. The tatami room? Oh, of course. Should have known this wasn't it. Before you go, I'm gonna need to verify your membership. Kosuke give you a card? Uh, he should have? <laughs> Shit, I can't seem to find it. It's like a gym. 
that so? Well, now we got a problem. Sorry. I'll be more careful next time, promise. <laughs> there won't be a next time, dumbass! We don't carry cards here! <laughs> oh, fuck. Now, who the hell are you, and how'd you get in? Better start talking! This guy's smarter uh, than we thought. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Tell me. We're not telling you shit! Okay. <laughs> You have to beat your fucking asses then. As always. Then hold. Oh, charge attacks. Oh, tiger stance. What the fuck is that stance in the middle? Snake stance? Okay. Alright. Two so have boost. Why not? Oh, yeah. Classic moveset. Oh. All right, Yagi, me. That was probably the worst thing we could have done. While he's down, trying to go for a fucking elbow. Okay, attack with this, and then do this. Oh my god! Doing with the heavy attack, it just hits harder. Rather than the light attack, grab enemies with E and then attack. Fuck. Fucking launching them, dude. Alright. Fucking WWEing him. Oh, what? Okay. Boom. Oh, yeah. Fucking manhandling him. Grab a weapon. Okay. Oh shit. No. Get out of here. Uh, you two. Get on the ground? Okay. You grab this weapon. I gotta do a tutorial, guys. You guys can't stop me. There we are. Oh yeah. Got the beast style on lock. What? Oh my god. You got fucking clapped. Yeah, you good? What's going on? I'm still in that building with Kosuke kun. Had a little run in with some watchdogs. And apparently, Kosuke's no stranger. Right now, he's in their tatami room. Oh, he is, huh? What do you think he's up to? Well, a betting man would say he's gambling. If it's a members-only building with goons posted on every corner, I'm telling you now, the tatami room ain't no tea shop. Huh, not a bad theory at all. It's like you're speaking from experience, Kaito-san. <laughs> You've got questions? I've got answers. Y'all give me a look at your left, dude. I said we have an intruder. Uh, I don't know how we got in. Should have listened to me, man. <laughs> What happened? You there? Tell me something, Doc. <laughs> I tell you so fucking dramatic, a bro. Of gambling low life. We're seeing this kid's true colors now, if you ask me. Yeah, it's hard to argue with that. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt until we catch him red-handed. Innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> Is that some lawyer creeping back into your detective work? Well, whatever. Just don't get yourself caught. You want to fight on your hands. Believe me, I don't. All right, let's go. Kaito's like the big brother at this point. He's definitely has the head on his shoulders, but Yagami is just kind of stubborn. He's like that stubborn middle child, you know? I guess that's why we love him, though. Oh, shit. Is that a Raiders hat, bro? You're Ra Raiders fan? The fuck? <laughs> that was like the most NPC fucking stare ever. Oh shit. Yo, you got a minute? I heard we got an intruder in here. Let the others know for me. Yeah, okay.
What the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> What's up with this guy? <laughs> yeah, I'll give me. You can see, right? You don't need glasses, do you? What's this? Ooh, paper plate. Good for eating pizza and hot dogs on, like in Costco. Oh shit. Okay. Oh fuck, I want that cube. I love that VR cube cat. Alright, I got the key. Oh shit. I, think I, I don't think I want to step on those. Oh. Alright, I'm good. Just gonna crab waltz out of here. And then stand up briefly to open the door. Still on the phone, bro? With your fucking Nike Air Maxes? I don't know. That fit is a little strange for me. You could have done better. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to pick this one? Dude. Okay. Oh, wow. I like this new model, though. It's looking good. Almost there. Before it was like 2D. Oh, it even zooms in. Perfect. Oh. Cool. So far, this game's amazing, man. Definitely an improvement over judgment. Coin tossed and choke out. Oh shit! Okay. It's like a hitman Makes game sense. now. Throw coin. That's a good boy. I gotta move his body though, right? Maybe like in this corner over here. Oh. Oh, he's just fucking disappeared. Well, shit. Never mind. Dirty cloth. It's probably the last thing you wanna find on the fucking corner <laughs> of a tatami, tatami room. Okay. All right, you could get up now, you Yagi me. You could get up, bro. Hey, don't just stand there. Shut the door already. What's going on in here, bro? What do you want me not to find? Oh, shit. Come on, I had you. Ah, why does this always happen? Come on, folks. Who wants another round? Everyone place their bets. Now or never. You know you're on a losing streak, Kosuke. Why not be a good little boy and go home? Are you kidding? I was just getting warmed up. Huh? Didn't know you were such a high roller. Where are you uh, getting all that cash from, anyway? <laughs> Can't say too much about it, but... I got me a pretty good hustle. <laughs> Another girl with stars in her eyes, huh? Jeez, go ahead and tell the whole room. Hey, 
keep any of the secrets on you. Man, Keiko deserves better, bro. Fucking gamblers like you, man. Sneaky ass bastard. All right, Kaito-san, you called it. Kosuke-kun just blew all his earnings on Chohan. <laughs> Told ya. So, what do you say we do? Because I say we cut to the chase and have us a little one-on-one. -on -one. Huh. My thoughts exactly. Good. I'll bring the car around. College boy is about to learn something they don't teach in class. <laughs> Kaito's a fucking menace, bro. <laughs> Hey man, hold up a sec. I think you dropped something. Huh? I've got my phone on me. What'd I lose? Oh, it's a prank, bro. Well, it could be any number of things, to tell you the truth. Social experiment. Maybe your conscience, or even your integrity. You feel like you might have left those somewhere? Huh? What's your freaking problem? <laughs> Scamming a young lady ring any bells for you? You've been working with a crooked bar to make her foot a 1.2 million yen bill. What in the hell are you even talking about, dude? Have you conned so many girls you can't even keep the scam straight anymore? You better back off me. I've got the full support of the Tojo clan on this thing, man. Still think it's wise to talk shit? The Tojo clan? You mean the Yakuza? <laughs> Pissing yourself yet? You're about to be real sorry, asshole! <laughs> the Tojo clan thugs got disbanded ages ago. <laughs> If name dropping a long dead gang was supposed to scare me, I'm not very impressed. Son of a Let's fucking go! I wouldn't do that if I were you. That excuse for a punch told me all I need to know. Fuck you, man! That last one was just a warning shot! No more chances. The gloves are coming off right now, bro, and you're gonna get fucked up! I hear you, kid. <laughs> so, I can take the gloves off too, right? Kosuke, you're a piece of work, bro. You for real right now? Well, I pump iron at the gym once a week, my man. You're going down. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm an old-ass detective, bro. Don't say I didn't warn you. Who gets uh, girlfriends in his sub-stories? Oh, shit. He's going to be flying through. I'm glad I played uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon before this because... Uh, Looks like the story is actually uh, lining up. They said about, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, they said the Tojo clan got disbanded. All right, Kosuke, so far your gym routine has been uh, just a bunch of yoga or something. What is that? <laughs> okay, Yagami, what are you looking that way? Really sensitive but if I don't pick it up, huh? With the uh oh shit. Oh no! You got better uh fucking locking than me. Oh yeah. Oh you're in it for, for a treat, bro. Here's my rusty bike technique. Oh my god. <laughs> I think he's dead, dude. He's <laughs> fucking unconscious. <coughs> hey, Yoshiro-san! Over here! Please, you gotta help me. Kosuke, what happened? This guy giving you trouble? Yeah, he just started wailing on me all of a sudden. He did? Well, what's your problem? This gentleman you're harassing is my client. Client? Not a tatami room term for gambling addict? <laughs> gambling addict? Who told you about the tatami room? People only get in through me. And I sure as hell don't know you. Look, I don't have time to play around right now. It's too late, asshole. You just signed up for a beating! Oh yeah? 
Well, I'm gonna fuck you up. Okay, EX move. Absorbs enemy damage. So you're basically God. That's basically what you are. Oh, you get deactivated too. Not sure why you would do that. But, uh... Here, deactivate it. You, right? There we are. Hmm. This crater style is pretty good. Gotta get used to it, though. There we are. Fucking invasive is all hell. Can't touch me. Oh, fucking. <laughs> okay. So if you do the fucking uh, heavy kick, right click, grab, you're vulnerable as fuck. That's good to know. Wow. All right, Kosuke, just you and me now. Give him the fucking spinal twister. This wasn't supposed to happen. Now you're really asking for it. What the fuck? Wow, this guy can fucking run amazingly for getting clapped get two times. Come back, dude. Heal now? Oh shit. Oh shit, I still got it. <laughs> Fucking cone. No, another cone. Crazy. Get away from me. Hold up. Wonder why everyone's that like yeah. telling us to slow down. Oh motherfucker. Throwing rocks, bro? Nah, that's just playing dirty. Split paths. Yeah. Obviously you went left. You get away. Yeah. That's it, dude? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? No way. <laughs> Wait, Yagami. Where are you going? Y Yagami. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> he was right there, dude. What do you mean? Wait. I pressed Q. I almost. I thought I almost failed that again. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, game. Come on, Kosuke Kun. Are you done? <laughs> you can't help yourself, can you, Tommy? For being a lawyer, you sure like to sell things with your fists. That's what I'm saying, bro. A lawyer? How the fuck are you a lawyer? <laughs> Yagami-san, you're not really a detective? I'm a detective, all right. As for the badge, I still have a license to practice, so I hold on to it. Is it safe to assume, then, you used to work at Genda Law? Yep. Hit the nail on the head, actually. These days, he hands off the gigs that are better suited for detectives, like him. Now it's making a little more sense. Did you catch all that, Kosuke Kun? <laughs> huh? Well, if you want a closer look, I'll be more than happy to accommodate you. What? Wow. Yeah. Now you're just pulling you his skill, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we 
We're gonna be buds, Kosuke. Oh, fuck. You're a fucking menace, Kaito. Whoa, time out! Guys, this isn't funny! They stamped things off me! I swear this is all a mistake! Kosuke-kun. Uh, Yuko-chan! Don't let these assholes con you! Believe me! I didn't do anything wrong! Who the hell are these thugs? Who is Yuko-chan? Uh, well, My name is Keiko, you jerk! Did you think I trusted you? <laughs> Here's the deal, Kosuke-kun. First, you're gonna cancel her debt to that bar. <laughs> but that's not even my call. And second, they'll be returning every yen she paid. Plus a little extra for us having to deal with your bullshit. You're out of your freaking mind! Do you even know who you're- I have a pretty good idea. And I don't think very highly of con artists who prey on innocent women. <laughs> you tell him, talk. Hey! That's my phone! Dial up that bar for me, would you? What bar? Drop the act, kid. That scam is the oldest trick in the book. You don't have any proof. Proof? Do we need to spell it out for you? We've got you by the balls, you little shit. Who even are you people? <laughs> Some of Kamarocho's finest. The Yagami Detective Agency. You mean, you're detectives? It's in the name. Smart guy, huh? Everyone in town knows us. They do? You're goddamn right they do. <laughs> Don't talk like you've never heard of us. <laughs> Give the guy a break, Kaito-san. We're still getting our name out there. Uh, no. <laughs> fucking no. Kaito just have a fucking heart of a lion, bro. Look, I, I get what you're after, but give it up. That money's as good as gone. The guy who runs that bar's ex-Tojo clan. I was lying when I said he's Yakuza. Yeah. Well, I used to roll with the Tojo myself. I might even know the dumb bastard. You know he's all bark and no bite, don't you? The Tojo clan got disbanded. Yeah, but he's still a criminal! Just because his clan broke up doesn't change a thing! He's just a dickless ex-Yakuza strutting around, flashing a pin that don't mean shit. Still, even an ex-Yakuza is dangerous, right? Are you sure you'll be safe? Yeah, got this under control. Danger is our specialty. So, which number is the bar keeps? You really shouldn't. Still worried about pissing off an ex-Yakuza? I'd worry more about the one right in front of you. Or oh, would shit. you rather try your luck? <sighs> Piss off Kaito is a whole nother level, bro. Hey, uh, Chief, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be back at the shop, would you? Yeah, I am. Why, you, uh, find yourself a new chick, huh? Oh, you just keep reeling them in, don't you? <laughs> Not exactly. No? Why, well, at least you still got Keiko unlocked. Yeah, these broads will do anything if you know how to squeeze them right. You could make a fortune milking her. Bastard. <laughs> Wait a minute, though. What happens when Keiko brings you the money? Oh, <laughs> that's simple. First, we take the cash off her hands. Then we slap on a last-minute late fee and send her sobbing all the way to the soap land. Right. Sounds like you got it all figured out. Wait. Why'd your voice change all of a sudden? <laughs> Fucking dumbass. <laughs> Took you long enough. Wait up. Who the hell is this? I suggest you remember this voice. Because I'm about to come knocking. And this time, you'll be the one paying the price. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. You're kind of insane, man. Sorry to break this to you, Keiko-san. Kosuke-kun had you fooled. No matter what lengths you went to for him, all he ever thought of was using you. You were just an easy mark the whole time. Don't get me wrong, Keiko-san. This did start out as business, but now I've seen uh, the light. <laughs> no! Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's enough out of you. Oh, man. This kid will never quit, huh? Come on. 
Let's get you back to Gendas before the fireworks start. Trust me, you'll be safe there. <laughs> okay. You wouldn't want to see what we're going to do to that place anyway. <laughs> it's going to get ugly. You mean you're going to take them on alone? <laughs> That's always how it goes down around here for some reason. Let's go, Kiko-san. Gendas Sensei. Team Yagami and Kaito is just such a fucking strong ass duo, man. This is man. Genda Law, where I got my start as a lawyer. The owner, Genda Sensei, is like a father to me. He's been a well respected figure in Kamrajo for years. Genda Sensei. Huh? Where is everyone? Oh. Saurakun and company are down at the courthouse. Those two are always putting in a hard day's work. It's good to see you. Ah, oh, I believe we met the other day. It was that con artist case. How'd it go? Did Yagami get that solved for you? He goes all in on his cases, but that's about his only redeeming quality. Yeah, he's really gone above and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to impose, Genda Sensei, but can Keiko san stay here a while? Fucking Genda, me. dude. It was getting a little too quiet around here anyway. Beautiful eyes. So you want me to stay here until things calm down? You sure that's safe? Yeah, we'll be back before you know it. All right, Genda. What does your old dusty ass have to say, man? Speaking of which, it's rare to see the office this empty. You guys working a big case? Yeah. <laughs> Big enough to keep Sauri Kun and Hoshino Kun out of trouble, I suppose. It's not a murder case, is it? No, no. It's an anti nuisance ordinance violation. Huh? Oh, you mean. It's a groping case? She's a smart one. This happened two months back. Some good Samaritans at a train station pinned down a groper who was trying to make a getaway. Wouldn't you know it, the culprit was a cop, of all things. Makes you wonder what this world's coming to. Naturally, the press had a field day with it. It was all you saw on the news for a while. Mm, I bet, dude. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. It was all over the internet. Anything that stops the trains during rush hour makes the news. It was all they talked about. Probably because he was a policeman. The judge is handing down the verdict today, and I don't expect he'll be pleased with it. Every answer he's given has been, I don't recall. Like, that'll do him any good. Stop that man! That man's a grover! Stop him! Stop him! I, I, I didn't do it! Let go! Hey, hey, let me go! Someone help! Get a station car! This man grabbed me on the train! He put his hand up my skirt! No! You're wrong! You got the wrong guy! Stop struggling, asshole! Let me go! The cops can check your hands to see if you did it or not. Be here in a second now, so just chill out! Let's take off his glasses, bro. Are you filming this? <laughs> Put that camera away! Trying to make him go blind? The fuck? Got him by the fucking string like a fucking animal dude? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's practically one foot into the fucking jail cell now. Ehara-san, do you mind sitting up straight in court, please? <laughs> A bad attitude isn't going to do you any favors. Sorry, man. Does it even matter? It's over. The verdict has already been decided. Your demeanor still has consequences. The worse things are looking for you, the better an impression you need to make. Babyface Hoshino, man. 
leave an impression. <laughs> well, if I were the judge, I'd be happy about having an easy day on the job for once. This is no time to be cynical, either. Besides, the judge hasn't... It's decided. Guilty as charged. <laughs> this also means it's almost time for the curtain to fall until the grand finale. What? And so, let's get this show on the road. All rise. It's fucking weirdo, dude. Fishy ass motherfucker. <laughs> well, like I said, we should have a verdict coming down today. We only really needed Sauri Kuhn at the bench, but Oshino Kuhn insisted on joining her. Truth be told, I still can't tell when he's trying to help or when he's trying to impress her. <laughs> then he'll need to pull out all the stops. Sauri Kuhn's no slouch. Plus, she's got ice in her veins. Speaking of, How'd you end up on the hook for defending an active duty officer? Well, another firm had it on their plate first, actually. Comro PD, they have their go-to guys. The plan was to get a confession, earning the defendant a nice retirement package and a simple case dismissed. You mean he'd be found innocent? Bottom line, yeah. On the condition he left the forest anyway. Correct. But the plan fell apart when the cop kept insisting he didn't do it, in spite of the evidence stacked against him. So, once Comro PD's lawyers decided to throw in the towel, the case went straight to Sauri Kuhn, who just happened to take the call. Huh. Makes sense. I'm sure they'll be back soon if you wanted to stick around. I would, but I gotta tie up a few loose ends. But let us know if any new requests come in. Restless as always. You ever heard of a vacation, Yagami? <laughs> That's exactly why I turned my hobby into a job. Besides, I like staying busy. <laughs> Fine. You never did listen to your elders. Anyway, I shouldn't <laughs> keep Kaito-san waiting. Thanks again for looking after Keiko-san. Damn, Genda. Always with the shade, man. Please be careful, Yagami-san. And thank you. Aw, oh, no problem. You just focus on whatever you gotta do. I'll make sure the young lady's comfortable. Alright, Genda. Leave it to you, dude. Oh, does this still work? Oh, it does. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Alright, guys. Enough with the... Steering competition. You just get that worn out rubber and whatever this is over here. Small screw. Hey, ready to wreck shop talk? <laughs> Not gonna be any bottles of beer on the wall when we're done. Alright, let's do this, Kaito. Let's get to work. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go fuck up this bar, man. Well, this the dump you brought Keiko-chan to? It is! So could you please just let me go? Not a chance. You get a front row seat for when your boss shows up. What are you, crazy? He'd murder me on the spot! Then he'd murder you two for dessert! Huh. He's that scary, huh? Yes, actually. Not to mention all his boys. All the more reason to put him in his place. Pricks like that need to learn how to treat a lady. Agreed. Oh, hold on. Sugiura. Holy really? fuck. Could he choose a worse Sugiura? time? Talk about a buzzkill. Hey there. You miss me? Jeez, it's been what? Half a year? Everything good over there? Good as it gets. Well, I've got some good news of my own I wanted to give you, man. Tsukumo-kun and I have our very own detective agency. 
Wait. Oh, wow. Are you saying you started a detective agency? Meaning, now you're a detective? Yep. Got our own office and everything. It's in Yokohama. Didn't want to muscle in on your turf. Man. I don't know what to say. No, oh, and by Stukumo, you mean... The one and only. At least, the only one I know. Thought his hacking might give us an edge. Wow, he finally touched grass. Never figured he and I were on the same wavelength about stuff. You wanna wrap this up, Doc? Anyway, <laughs> we got a pretty big case. And to be honest, we're in a little over our heads. So that got me thinking, why don't we call up the bros? So they can show us how it's done. Uh, do you need an answer right away? We're in the middle of the usual. Oh yeah? More sneaky shit? Yep, I'll tell you all about it later. Oh, come on. Give me just a hint. Sorry, buddy. Should I give him a hint? Now he's gonna call Set? you back. <laughs> then let's roll. Oh my god. Siguria and fucking Sukumo man. Those two. Actually was a surprise they made a detective agency. They're like complete opposites. Kosuke, care to explain what the fuck's going on? It's uh, not what you think. We're here on account of a woman named Keiko Hamada. She says she's been threatened by an illegitimate business. Oh, I see. You're the guy who had this dipshit's phone. Yagami Detective Agency, at your service. Yagami Detective? Yo, wait a sec. You the kid Matsugane-san took in? There! You see? <laughs> I told you people have heard of us. Huh. As for me, the name's Kaito. <laughs> Used to wear the Matsugane <laughs> myself. Oh, I've heard plenty about you. You're a real celebrity, buddy. <laughs> a man's gotta have a reputation, right? Masaharu Kaito. Ugly as an ape and just as dumb. Oh, fuck. Get the drop on him that forks over the family safe? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're a real legend. Don't talk like you were there, jackass. You want an ape? I'm about to go ape shit here. Come on now. Don't give him what he wants. Fuckhead. Now that we're past introductions, we're here to get Keiko-san's money. And we'll be tacking on our fee on top of that. Just business. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Hear that, boys? The detectives come to collect. You know the best part of breaking ranks with the Tojo clan? The freedom. No more paying cuts to guys upstairs. Makes us even tougher. And guess what I spent the cash on? Balls. Now, this is damn good soundproofing. Meaning whatever goes on inside stays inside. You'll find out just how convenient that is. Whatever, dude. Hear that, Kaito san? He says we're free to cut loose. Oh, yeah. Best news I've heard all day. I'm gonna open up a can of. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, uh, hold that thought a minute. <laughs> Greetings, Yagamishi. Did Sugiyoshi call you a second ago? He did, but look, Tsukumo, now's really not a good time. Oh, so you really are just busy? He said you hung up on him, so I wanted to make sure. He didn't offend you, did he? I hate to think he upset you, you know? But if so, we didn't mean it. On behalf of both of us, I offer my profuse apologies. Yep, no offense taken, man. <laughs> but you see my point, right? Sugiyoshi and I are a team. Our actions reflect on each other. Any responsible member of a company. I mean, any responsible member of society. It's, it's a matter of respect. Okay, I get the picture. We'll continue this later. Okay, but <laughs> when is later? Should I call you back? If you have an estimate, I can set a timer. That way I'll know when it's convenient. Uh... Right, uh, where do we leave off? You gotta be shitting me. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty lame talk. Pretty lame. <laughs> That's it. You jokers are dead meat. Well, thanks for waiting. That's the only respect I'm about to give you after this. Oh, some skills? Oh, I don't need those skills to pay the bills. I'm all fun and all shills. 
You guys should run for the hill. Oh yeah, look at those charge EX gauge attacks. Makes me feel like a fucking god. Time to crane it up. Oh my god. I went through the entire room for that one. Oh shit. All right. And you, you're just standing here, so I'm gonna give you a pull down, bust down. Hold nine yards, 12 yards. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm loving this combat so far. Oh, my God. That guy's not getting up no more. All right, dude, you're the last one. All right, Kaito. I'm going to grab him for you. Get him. Kaito. What the hell, Kaito? I thought we were a duo, man. Come on. Dude, Kaito, finish it off. Alright, whatever. I'll finish it off. Fucking Kaito, dude. Big chalk big talk, but no game, man. What the hell? Listen, I just wanted to thank the both of you for all you've done. Well, I'm just glad to hear they got your money back. These two are something, huh? Oh, yes. I don't know how I could possibly repay them. Oh, don't worry about it. Besides, those thugs paid our service fee and then some. <laughs> nice of them to eat the cost, huh? Beg your pardon? Oh, uh, nothing. I take it all back. Anyway, what happened to the crooks? If they're smart, they're skipping town. Doubt they'd reopen after how bad we wrecked the place. As for Kosuke, I made sure to tip his college off about his little side business. Oh, you're fucking evil, dude. <laughs> Should help him rethink his life choices. So I'd say this case is closed. Well, I've sure learned my lesson. It's a scary world out there. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm From now on, I choose the place when meeting boys online. And I should probably change dating apps while I'm at it. That's your big takeaway? Really, Kingo Chan. <laughs> You're laying this all on the app, not the sketchy internet dudes. Oh, I don't think so at all. Plenty of people these days meet their match online. It's true, Kaito-san. Apparently that's a thing now. You see, if you don't seize the opportunity when it knocks, it won't be just the times that leave you behind. Fine, fine. <laughs> Hear you loud and clear. Damn, Genda. Old fart like him is still cultured. Saori san and Hoshino can sure are taking their sweet time. Now that you mention it, they should have left the courtroom a while ago. Maybe Ooh. they stopped for a quickie somewhere. There's nothing between those two. Nothing real, <laughs> anyway. These old eyes can tell that much. Wisdom comes with age, huh? Damn right it does. And I've got more than you kids on both counts. You talking about Matsugane-san? Yep. The lawyer and the Yakuza. Best of both worlds. Though we came from different backgrounds, we were brothers in arms. Both trying to make it in Kamuracho. You two ought to visit his grave every now and again. We will. That goes without saying. Well, I guess we should get going. I guess so. Thanks for having us on such short notice. Oh, and give the two lovebirds our regards. <laughs> All rise. The court is prepared to issue its verdict. The sentence for the defendant, Akihiro Ihara, is six months of penal servitude. It's not too bad. He's getting prison time for his first offense? Isn't it usually just probation in cases like this? Yes. 
I'm sure his attitude didn't help the situation. From the start, the evidence was stacked against him, and all he did was deny it. If that will be all, we can proceed with the court's rationale. The defendant may be seated. You'd rather hear this standing up? Your Honor, in a warehouse, about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. Oh, maybe you hadn't heard that. What? What the hell? What is he talking about? I don't know. It's going down with the system, man. I'll take that as a no. In that case, make sure you pass this along to the Kanagawa police. They'll want to know that the body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. He deserved to die a thousand times, but he was never even accused of a crime. No, he just went on with his life. The law let him walk. An utterly broken system. Oh. Order in the court. The defendant shall refrain from making such outbursts. Defense, do you have an explanation for the meaning of this? <laughs> uh, Your Honor, we, uh, well... Fucking Yihara, bro. Oh my god, sorry he's looking at him like a... Like he's a fucking bug, an insect that she needs to squash. Huh? <laughs> uh, how's that for an honest day's work? I just want to go put my feet up in the office. Same Sounds here, like dude. A plan. I need to get back to Sugura, too. He was telling us about a big job. You mean a big job for us? Yeah, down in Yokohama. By the way, Sugiura and Tsukumo, they're detectives now. Those two detectives? A <laughs> good one, Todd. Wait. You serious? This game is absolute bullshit. It's like it's designed to eat your money. Yeah, what a fucking scam. Fuck this. I'm beyond pissed. I need to unload on someone's face. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Why don't we go give some asshole a game over? You know I'm always down. Purple icons, powerful enemies. Okay. Ooh, battle rewards. Interesting. Good to know. All right, Kaito. Let's get going, man. Nice, nice still young. Off. All right, let's just beat these guys up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Meanwhile, Kaito's being an NPC always. like always. <laughs> Let's run. All right. First things first. Maybe get some recovery items. Oh, a sushi set. So expensive, but always worth it. Can't find the Yagami bun though with the sesame seeds on top. Oh, they got Pepsi J Cola now. Oh, Natto. You know, I've tried Natto a couple times and uh, I won't lie, like, it just doesn't like, it doesn't work for me and my taste buds. It's like, uh, even with rice or like with the egg yolk or anything, like traditionally, the way you would consume it, it just doesn't like, it doesn't work, you know? Mixing it up and everything, uh, I just can't get with the time, I guess. It's not my, uh, my cup of tea. Comment down below if you've tried not so and you think it's your cup of tea. Oh, cat food? Hmm. Not right now. Let's actually get a bit of that cola. Why not? Mm. 
Anything in here? Pachinko ball. Okay. Let's get back to the agency now then. Maybe beat some thugs along the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, what? Basicness on Tiger Style sucks, man. Come on, Kaito, you gotta help me out, right? Guess not. Oh god, Iron Plate, let's go. To be rich. This playthrough. So far, the map's looking beautiful. I always like the uh, color palette of the Judgment games. It has like that clean color palette and um, and look to it. I'm loving it. Wait, is that Yoshinoya? Oh, they replaced it with Yoshinoya now? Damn, they have all the sponsors in this game. Ooh, lucky effect, huh? Oh, yeah. Love my Yoshinoya. Oh, I would love to eat this in real life. Eel. And, of course, the beef bowl. Made a couple beef bowls at a uh, Japanese restaurant before. And uh, you just can't beat it. <laughs> that mirin and uh, salty, savory mix in it, man money mm, i'm getting hungry just thinking about it <laughs> every time i go to california i always like to indulge in some yoshinoya online they don't have the best reviews but uh for me it just always hits different man Ah, uh, yes. This Yagami. is the Yagami Detective Agency. Detective Agency. I run the place with the help of my partner, an ex-Yakuza named Kaito. I wish I could say keeping this place afloat was smooth sailing. But the reality is, we'd be drowning if it weren't for the gigs we get from Genda-sensei. It's not like we don't have the technology. But when street smarts fail, most of the time we have to get physical. That happens a lot. I mean, we're like the muscle, like, uh, division, so. Genda, Hoshino, and Sauri are like the smarts, right? I'd say it all balances out. Okay, so first things I noticed is that the cabinet is gone. Yagami probably had some PTSD from that. Just like when he asked Genda about his uh, his case being a murder case or something. <laughs> As eyes perk up like, you know. Okay, grab this. I doesn't even have a lock on too, so I could like offset it like that. All right, whatever. We're gonna off. Yeah, we'll offset it like that. So when it falls, it falls with its uh, brother in the corner. All right, what did I get? Wayfarer's lucky cat, spark. Ooh, extracts. These things are busted, dude. Literally give you like superpowers. Okita, Koroshiba, Haiken. Oh, girlfriend, Sukino Satomi. Wait, isn't she from the other judge Judgment game? I think she is. Oh, Minato Toto, Kyoko, Akase, 
Covered drive. Oh, skate park. Wow. Motorcycle. Sparring. Oh, Higashi. No glasses on. Some dance. Oh, battle style boxer. Three women, three tales of love. Boxer style. Okay. Kind of similar to Kiryu's uh, rush. Right? Oh, counterattack. Perfect guard. Hmm. Gonna be a fun, fun uh, style then. A boxing gym. Wow. Receive money based on the distance traveled. This game's gonna be filled with a lot of stuff, man. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> that wasn't much, dude. Whatever. It's something, right? Okay. Well, Kaito. Gonna be gonna take a break for a second. Be back. Okay, and we're back. Yes, we can finally take a breather. Weren't you supposed to call Sugiura? Right, not now. Sure. I was, wasn't After I? Seeing us. Let's talk to Sugiura. Sugiura. Yagami san. Everything okay over there? Yeah, sorry, it's a long story. You were saying something about a big case? Oh, yeah. Listen, man, you gotta come check out Yokohama. We've been getting jobs left and right down here. And if we can ace this case I've got lined up, we'll be the hottest detectives in town. Oh, yeah? You sure it's a legit lead? Hey, have some faith. Would I waste your time on a bad lead? <laughs> Just looking out for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do appreciate that. Yeah, you ugly being the I big save brother. The details for when I see you? Sure. When do you want us over? Honestly, ASAP. Tomorrow, if you can swing it. We're based in Ijincho. Look for an office that says Yokohama 99 out front. That's us. The real question is, you free on such short notice? Uh, let me check my schedule. What schedule? Outside of today's shit, we haven't had work in weeks. If I tell them that, they'll lowball our cut, smart guy. Oh, right. <laughs> Guess we don't want to look desperate. <laughs> Y'all give me uh, bro. Sorry, Sugira. Yeah, tomorrow works just fine. Perfect. Man, this is gonna be so great. Oh, and Kaito-san's coming too, right? He'll be there. Sweet. See you guys soon then. Fucking fanboys. said he'd give us the details when we get there. Huh. Way to build the suspense. Yokohama, though. Can't say I'm really familiar with that neck of the woods. Same here. But you know what? Kamurocho has been pretty tame lately. Maybe this is our chance to broaden our horizons. Yokohama is an amazing new map. Yakuza.
Awesome. That was hype. I believe this is going to be a great playthrough. Close to Chinatown. So much for us getting a decent meal on this trip, huh? Well, then how about on the way home we take ourselves a little detour? Maybe. Sukumo's place is way out there. Want to take a taxi? I suppose we could. But why don't we hoof it? Yeah, we could see the sights. I guess I'm on board with that. Amazing map. Ah, oh, just look at it. So beautiful. Got the fluid uh, running motion now, though, compared to like Yakuza Like a Dragon, Ichiban running really odd and stiff. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me on the introduction of Lost Judgment. Feel free to like and comment below and subscribe to watch more of this content that will be releasing very soon. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.